Clinton Santa Ana with more on the Office of Independent Review and other political news is registered political reporter Norberto Santana, who joins us now from the Register Building. Norberto, how are you? Ed Maria, thanks for having me. Well, he had the story just a couple of moments ago about this new independent, the Office of Independent Review. Uh, give folks a little, uh, a little info, a little background on Connolly. Connolly uh, works over at the Los Angeles Office of Independent Review. Uh, he has been there since about 2001. Uh, before that, he worked as a uh, attorney in criminal uh, uh, white collar defense uh, issues, and he worked on the Rampart scandal over in Los Angeles County. Uh, he's actually part of a contingent of a bunch of LA people that have come over to the LA Sheriff's or to the Orange County Sheriff's Department recently, along with Hutchins, the under sheriff is from LA. Uh, also, the supervisor has been working with Mike Janako, who is the head of the LA Office of Independent Review as well. Um, so that set a little bit of uh, tension, judging from the different comments we get on our stories over here. Uh, some deputies and some within the department seem to have uh, a little bit of a question about possibly an L.A. takeover of the uh, uh, Orange County Sheriff's Department. Well, how will this, this uh, office actually work? What's interesting about this office in comparison to what have been done in other jurisdictions, in other places they've done things that they call civilian review commissions where you basically have panels of uh, members of the public that are able to take testimony and look at issues involving in custody uh, uh, deaths and, uh, and uh, beatings, for example. The problem with a lot of those panels over the years has been that they run into something called the Peace Officer Bill of Rights, which really does severely uh, uh, hinder their ability to get records, take testimony, subpoena people. The interesting thing about this Office of Independent Review is that Connolly essentially will be an attorney and will have an attorney-client uh, privilege both with the Sheriff's Department and with the County Board of Supervisors. So the next time that there's an issue at the Sheriff's Department, Connolly should be able to hit the ground very quickly and be able to give supervisors, who at the end of the day are the people that have to decide to whether to settle a case or pay it out or whether there are serious problems within the jail, he should be able to give them real-time intelligence in a very, very quick manner unlike some of those other civilian review panels uh, that have been set up in other places across the state. And we mentioned in our story that his salary is going to be over 200 grand, but his office has a little under a million dollars, so he's going to be bringing more people on. And is this going to be for time and eternity? Is this now part of our world here in Orange County? In some ways it is. I think it will depend on his workload over the next few years. I mean, basically what he has is a personal services contract. Uh, he's paying, paid that amount over uh, a yearly basis as far as uh, Supervisor Morlock told me uh, emphatically that he didn't have any pension benefits, but he does get a car allowance like many of the uh, top execs over at the county, including the supervisors. Uh, you're right that the budget for that office is a million dollars, and with the county facing a lot of fiscal issues with the pension system and with the state budget crisis, it's going to be interesting to see over the next few years how that office is both kept busy and relevant and also kept within uh, fiscal restraints. Uh, at the same time, our comments on a lot of the stories we've written show that people here in Orange County have a lot of concerns over whether that money is going to be well spent or not. Hey, you talk about spending money, you talk about all the things that are going on now. What's the latest on the, the Orange County retirement system and the big deficit there? Well, they took another blow this week. Uh, the, they released their financial statements at the County Board of Supervisors, and a lot of people were wincing when uh, the report came out that the unfunded liability, again, the gap between what we've promised to workers in benefits and the amount of money that we have secured to pay that out over the next three decades, that went from $2.4 billion last year to $2.7 billion this year. And it's kind of ironic in that even though the system earned 10% on its investments, and it had only assumed that they would uh, earn 7.75, uh, the unfunded just keeps growing. Uh, and that's prompting a lot of uh, concerns uh, among, amongst both union leaders, county bureaucrats, county supervisors. Um, this will quickly, over the next few months, is going to get uh, pretty hot and heavy in terms of what the future of Orange County's retirement system is. Yes, I'm number. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We had the, the, uh, the daily blog. Uh, address up. People can find out a whole lot more. They can read you in the Orange County Register. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys.